it feels it's not bad something happened to your living room I got <laughs> so I don't know if you've noticed but we're there's music there's life there's people we're a world of beer on 6th and Mill in Tempe, Arizona. We should thank the people of World of Beer. We always thank the people of World of Beer. They've spent a tremendous amount of time and energy in making sure that I'm drunk. <laughs> yeah, it's, it really doesn't feel like a, like a mill bar, which I feel like is a lot of people. I, it's a good change of pace. It's a good change, Excellent change of pace. Chill. Uh, there's no dance floor, none of that. So it's just you get to hang out, Great drink with your buddies. Exactly. Yeah, especially for people who. For guys who, for you guys who do watch it and do agree with our taste in beer, this is the place to come on Mill. There is no better place for a beer drinker than no. World of Beer. On Monday nights, <laughs> you can come and drink with us somewhere between eight and two. I don't know. Whenever we've that's filmed. a good block of minutes. <laughs> that's a good block of minutes. That's at the not World that of Beer, hard. they have weekly promos. Let's see. So this is what a World of Beer card looks like. I've never been cool enough to belong to a club. They have 520 beers here, I should have mentioned that. At 500, uh, you get a $250 bar tab, just have a ball. Monday, service industry night, half off select drafts. Tuesday is loyalty card night, 25% off all bottles, that's dope. Thursday is ladies nights. With that said, there's also this weekend on Saturday, October the, the 6th. It's October now. Or now. unless you you live in Arizona, in which case it's July 92nd. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Still really hot. Still very fucking hot outside. There was a, a breaking news of a cloud in the sky. It was insane. <laughs> but yeah, October 6th, there's uh, the Wobtoberfest. They will be giving away a trip to Oktoberfest in, in Germany. That's also in the uh, Tour de Fat is happening. That's the um, fat tire, like, bicycle uh, event -y thingy. Anyway, they will be providing us with the location and also the beer. So if you ever look, see a beer that we drink and you think I'd like that, you can come here and drink it. Get to know the bartenders. As I like to call them, the World of Beer Dime Squad. Yeah, the dudes are pretty pretty, too. Yeah, I'm gonna say. Good job, dudes. Uh, this week, World of Beer has provided us with uh, La Parcella number one pumpkin ale, as it is uh, October, and we decided you need a pumpkin ale. Also, I'd like to thank World of Beer for putting an air conditioner in a bar. Yeah. In Arizona. It's really nice. Oh, God, my brother's going to be so disappointed. I'm no good at this either. Uh, We're going to do a goop where the World of Beer people teach us how to do this properly. Oh, could we do that? Yours is better than mine. Is it? So tell us a little bit about this beer. Well, Trent... By not reading off the bottle whatsoever. I'll just explain it. It's uh, it's not a standard pumpkin ale. It's actually a sour, which is a beer that I've really come to enjoy. And during the break, which was way longer than it normally is, and I'm sorry about that, uh, I really got into sours. I really started enjoying them and drinking them all over the place. They got a bunch here, actually, that are really, really good. So this is like a pumpkin sour. It's going to be a, a, a spicy sour. So I hope it's October in a glass. Look at that color. Oh, wait, here, wait, maybe we can get it by the microphone. Sure, why not? Did you hear that? I'm a little ashamed that I held it like a wine glass. Like, <laughs> Did you do it like this? <laughs> no, I held it like at the stem. Oh, oh. I held it like at the stem. Right. That's almost exactly what I said it was. Yeah. Vaguely spicy. Wait a, uh, minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Sour. That's good. So, round, let's just round up and say 6% sour. A uh, little unusual for sour. Normally they're pretty aggressive. I'm not really getting a whole lot of pumpkin, but I am getting pumpkin spices. I think that's the key. That's the difference. The pumpkin. I'm still doing this. The stem hold <laughs> like fucking tea kettle at an English tea party. I guess we have to talk about sports first. As you know, hockey's gone until somebody decides to to have do a league again. Yeah. <laughs> again. But if you're a football fan and you live in Arizona, shit's going great. For another week. I'm sorry, Cardinals fans. I just don't see this. You don't see 5-0? I don't I don't see this happening week after week after week. It has. You've proven me wrong so far. <laughs> but, like, I just don't see it happening. You have, you did just play the Dolphins. You barely beat them. You kind of lucked out against the Patriots. Let's be honest, that's a field goal Goskowski makes every single time. Oh, for those of you who don't know, the new refs are, I mean, the old refs are back. Yes. You so, should know that value, though. You should. If because it was the biggest story on ESPN <laughs> besides Tebow in the last week and a half. He bought some new shampoo, yes, so ESPN Tebow's, is like... Tebow, do you guys know who Tebow is? 
What? Tebow. Tebow. Did he eat lunch today? Yes, he did. Oh, Crackers. thank God. Crackers. Lunchables. Christ crackers. Aside from Tebow in sports. Yeah. Great news. Baseball? The baseball. Oh, the A's are in the playoffs. Moneyball sequel. I mean, if you thought it was going to be hard for them to cast baseball legends like Scott Hatterberg and David Justice and uh, the other the others. Right. You can't. I can't wait to see who they cast to play the guys who are playing there now. now. Yeah. Those players. Whoever they are. Those, those players. Whoever they are. I feel like we've been getting weird looks from the... <laughs> yeah, well, People are like, up there shouting. They're wondering who we're talking to. Yeah. To them, it looks like we're talking to Claptrap from Borderlands 2. <laughs> By the way, <laughs> Borderlands 2 is absolutely fucking phenomenal. Until the Hyperion robots show up near the end, and then I want to murder myself. It's like trying to fight the entire empire and your R2-D2. My favorite thing is just, I just like to roam around with the shotgun because the we the weapons get better and better right. the, the better you get. Right. And you just have a shotgun that just like one hit kills and literally explodes people. Really fun to watch on a big screen. So long story short, play that. Play that. Uh, you can find me on Steam. I'll post my Steam number. Six digit Steam account. I've been there for a while. One other thing that happened in the film industry I don't know. A movie came out a couple, a couple weeks ago called Dread 3D. And two things about this movie. One, did terribly in the box office. Two, it's fucking incredible. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a 3D film fanatic, but I have seen a lot of 3D films. I don't go to a movie anticipating seeing it in 3D. By far the best looking 3D movie I think has been made up to date. I'm sorry, Hugo. I'm sorry, Marty Scorsese. 3D. People getting shot in the face in slow motion is amazing. It, yeah, that, it's like 10,000 frames a second. That captures like the color and the light and everything. So like the blood and water and smoke, it just looks so good. And in 3D, it looks even better. I just like watching phantom footage when it's not in 3D. Right. And simple things like someone pouring a beer or Alan Rickman drinking tea. Amazing. So you need to go out to your movie theater when you have the time and go watch Dread 3D in the theater before it gets taken out because it's 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 the coolest 3D movie you will ever see. Is the Washington Nationals logo not Walgreens. the Walgreens logo? It definitely is. But yeah, let's see, ASU, football. I'm just going to say it. They're, they should be unbeaten right now. The Missouri game... They was a did, farce. Did not handle that goal line situation very well. Having the new job that I have at watching the games live every he gets to be for the he gets to control what you see on television. <laughs> That's not exactly what I do. Basically, <laughs> they play a lot faster than teams in the past. Right. And it and it really shows. The offense just looks way better. Even in games where like last season's teams, you would find you would find the offense like sputtering. And right. not really getting the ball moving. Right. This team just finds a way to get like a first down or get like that 15, 20 yard well, gain that gets the drive going. Uh, Brandon McGee, who uh, is a really, really, you can't, I don't know if you can get any of his interviews. You should try and find his interviews. He's actually a really funny guy. He's like the one football player who's got comedic timing. You know, Austin used to play for the football team. Yes. We have a friend who used to play on the football team. That makes us cool. Speaking of cool, Doctor Who showed up and left. Four episodes we get out of Doctor Who. Yeah, not cool. You break my heart after four episodes, <laughs> and then you Stop. make me wait till Christmas. I say so far this season, at four and one, you gotta give the team a solid A. A plus would be unbeaten, but right. compared to where we were last year, or the year before that, or the year before that. End of 07 is when we were, the last time we were good. Oh, come on now. Uh, another thing we're going to be doing is having a lot more guests and stuff, so that'll be exciting. But one thing that uh, I don't know since the last time we were here, that Gangnam Style shit came out. How do you feel about the Gangnam Style, Trent? I'm always hesitant to like really like things when they catch fire and right. get really popular. Because you don't want to be like, Friday, Friday, and people are like, that's not a cool song, Trent. <laughs> yeah. I, I just can't help but laugh, but laugh at like... Everything in that music video. I found I found a better. I wish video. I knew what the song meant. 
I yeah, wish I no. knew what the style ooh, was. Ooh, sexy lady, and then some other words, yes. and then, and then ooh, gong, sexy ooh, lady. Bang, gang, gang, gang. O, opa, opa Gangnam, Gangnam Style. I don't know what that means. I found a video, Gangnam Style, with no music. And it's fucking incredible. I also like the thrift store music video. The thrift store music video. Rolling in hella deep, headed to the mezzanine. Dressed in all pink, set my gator shoes. Those are green drinks and a leopard mink. Girl standing next to me. Probably should have washed this. Smells like R. Kelly sheets. Piss. But shit, it was 99 cent. Uh, the other thing, uh, just if we're going to be talking about uh, local stuff that you can get into since we're, you know, it's our first cast back and we're kind of catching up before we get back into the groove. Uh, if you ski or snowboard, the snow devils are back, but we're off campus. So if you want to join that, come find me. We're at America's Taco Shop uh, every Thursday from 7 to 9. We might be going to uh, Mellow Mushroom, but we'll see what happens. Um, and you can come sign up and stuff and snowboard and whatnot. Why is, oh, I know why. Because you poured it from the bottom. Did you get more spices than me? I think I got more spices. That looks like cider. Give it a shot. What's it like? Tastes exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What do you give it? I don't know. I feel like we should have, like, since you're more of the sour guy. Right. And I'm more, like, IPA. Right. But also... You want a third opinion? Looking down upon the people at World of Beer, trying to discover a third opinion for this pumpkin ale. That's not it, no. Oh, here. Can't see your face. You know, I kind of wish that, like, we saw that expression, because it was pretty classic. <laughs> okay, she's going with four and a half, and it's reason why is it's not as spicy. A lot of head bobbing, I'm not sure, and she's gone. All so, right. one of the Dime Squad, Alicia, says uh, she gives it a 10, or excuse me, <laughs> 10 out of 5. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> she really fucking I got, loved it. I got really she stuck. She had a kid. <laughs> she loved it so much. They had a kid over there. Four and a half out of five, which is, I was going to give it a four. Four. Four, four, four. So yeah. let's call it a four and a quarter. Four and a quarter. Four and a quarter for La Parcella number one pumpkin. When October rolls around and they're like, quick, pumpkins, getting all of my food. I hate that shit. I'm like, I just want something that doesn't have pumpkin in it, and you can't do it. it. This is the one thing that has pumpkin in it, and you want it. And like she said, it could be more aggressive. It could be, but, but you don't want it. You know what? It's fine. Fine by me. Cheers to you guys. <laughs>